Cassava indeed is a magical crop. It is not only drought resilient, it definitely yields a lot better than many of the tubers we know across the globe. Cassava can be eaten as fufu, it can be eaten in confectionaries, and it can be eaten just as fresh as it is harvested. Cassava can be an entry point for impact investing. It can be a vehicle through which investors in different parts of the world can find common ground in investing in Africa. It is a product that has so many other value chains that can be developed from the crop itself. It is hoped that organizations and humanitarian organizations in particular hoping to improve on food security in the continent as well as impact investors and angel investors will be able to collaborate with civil society organizations like the African Center for Community and Development to develop such instruments that will be able to improve on cassava farming, improve yields, as well as transform cassava in order to impact socially and to fight poverty and to improve on food security in Cameroon and Sub-Saharan Africa. This is cassava filling we are going to be using for filling to Peaks at the African Center for Community and Development, and recycling agricultural products or waste is very vital in the 21st century where green technologies are vital in the fight against climate change. I don't think they are food. So you see we want to give them now the chaff for the making of water for food. You like it? Pigs is very important in terms of sustainable pig farming.
so you see the, the field cassava is being soaked in water as part of the processing in the making of garlic green cradle carries at the African Center of the Community and Development. In the communication of these procedures, we are hoping to valorize and vulgarize knowledge in development management on these tested practices. Mr. Is that will take care of pigs coming up with food? So the food that then Mr. Israel has brought comprises of mapier grass as well as vitamins and antibiotics, traditional antibiotics called Chakasara in Cameroon and we're going to be using it to feed pigs alongside cassava peelings that we are going to get from processing cassava So you see, this kind of feeding helps to make the pigs to be lean and not to be too fatty. They gain the energy that the plants have kept from photosynthesis directly. In a way, it is linked to traditional Buddhist philosophy or practices referred to as prana but then also very rooted in African belief systems and livestock keeping. Good day, thank you very much for talking to the African Center for Community and Development and for collaborating to help us understand the various processes in the making of Gary at the African Center for Community and Development. What is your name, ma'am? My name is Pastor Gregles Vicky Panta. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, what can you tell me about the importance of cassava? Cassava is very important because it helps the economic of the country. Yeah. And uh, it is very uh, economical. We can use it in various ways. So it helps the population as it. Okay, you are into the making of cassava related products. Can you tell me about them? Yeah, I was born in cassava. My parents are farmers. And my mother produced me under. That is one of the things I make and that is what I use to sustain and grow up my own children. Okay. So I know a lot about cassava. Now, how do they prepare water fufu? Okay, water fufu. You have to clean the cassava, wash it, soak it in the water. The next day, you have to grind it. Yes, when you grind it, you have to soak it again. For another two days, then you can shift that if you have a greater that you shift that it and when you shift that it you tie it in the pump when the water is out. That's what I prefer. You can see we are trying to clean cassava in order to transform the, the food of into water for food or gari at the African Center for Community and Economy. The intention is to improve on food security in Cameroon, fight hunger while conserving biodiversity.
from our green cradle project. You know? That's why it's very important. Locally, we're in the making of Gary, Moyondo, and so many things. Bobolo and Simpu. Yeah. It's also used in the making of Accra. I should confess. And customer flower. So we are inviting you to join us at the African Center for Community and Development so that we can do things together. So be very interested in this point at the moment. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet. 